Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And thank you guys so much for joining me as we go ahead and take a look into that 70s show. This is season number two, episode number two, called Red's Last Day. So when they're talking about Red's Last Day, are we talking about with Bob? I mean, I'm kind of surprised we'll have an episode like this. So if that's what we're talking about, then okay. Curious to see how it plays out. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see now. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys once again for joining me in that previous episode, the very first episode of season number two. Uh, we kind of saw Fez hit on Jackie, and that was not good. That was definitely not good. We had Kelso, who was definitely very upset about that, and I don't know if that's something they'll follow up on, but it was something that I thought was worth mentioning because it was something I did not expect to see happen. I mean, I know... Fez is very much goofy and he's very much out there as far as, you know, if he is, is he, if he's going to feel something or, or say something, he's going to say it or do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I didn't think he would do that, especially how close him and Kelso are. I didn't think that that's something that he would do. But then again, Kelso kind of does it to himself. You know, all last season, he kept mentioning that he was done with uh, Jackie. He was going to break up with her all the time. I think even in the last episode, uh, we saw Eric's sister and Kelso kiss, and then even, even I, I meant last season, but in the last episode, she was definitely teasing uh, Kelso a little bit, so I don't know, I don't know how too much to feel about that situation, but of course, let's keep watching, let's see uh, if they even capitalize on that uh, situation with Fez and Jackie, uh, but we'll we'll definitely go ahead and take a look to see what what we're getting ourselves into, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is That 70s Show, man. If you are a fan of the show, if you are a fan of what we do here in Geeked Out Nation, feel free to leave that like, comment, subscribe, and of course, check us out on our Patreon for some early and unedited episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is That 70s Show, and here we go. Well, you could hop plywood in this. <laughs> right? Or... Or Donna. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that's where he was going. Why would I want to hop... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Nah, no, you know what? She wouldn't do it in a van. She wants it to be special. You know, you might as well just wear your University of I Wasted My Father's Money sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. Oh. Oh, oh no. Leave it on. She lacks character, Mrs. Foreman. Shut up. You are lucky to even live here. You're an orphan. She called me an orphan. Hey, he's not an orphan. His mom's Why is the family. camera doing Shut that? Up. Do you guys see it? Okay, that's it. Everybody hide in the basement. Go! Morning. Certain angles, it just looks funny. <laughs> like right there. You said it was cool on the phone, Michael, but it's not. It's horrible. I can't be seen in this. It's like, it's like having a sty. <laughs> You still hurt? Oh, oh, this van would not be rocking. Oh. <laughs> oh, sure is something. 23 years of working here, and now it's all gone. Of course, you're back, Kelsey. Man, I knew once I got my van, I'd be having some bitchin' Hollywood parties. <laughs> right. Kelso. <coughs> I love the van. It's a real Lyle Wagoner place. I love Jackie. And a real man can deny his man instincts. Who are you talking to? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. What are you doing? Oh. Hello. Lori. No, no. What Kelso. are you doing here? I'm bored. There's nothing on TV. But that's over. <laughs> Gosh. I sure do feel close to you, Kelso. Oh, no. Listen, Lori, I, 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 uh, I don't think my girlfriend, Jackie, <laughs> would like you sitting on me. <laughs> I think you like me sitting on you. In fact, I know you do. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so bad. But that's not the point. <laughs> oh, no. Shut up, Kelso. This is your... No! Oh, I, I hope they break up now. Damn, Kelso? Why do Jackie like that? I love Jackie. Lori's funny, don't get me uh, wrong, but... Do. Kelso? Oh, man. I mean, 
you nothing. In fact, Kelso, I think you're the only loser here who thinks she is hot. <laughs> Not true. I have pictured her naked hundreds of times. But just this morning, I was taking a shower. Come on, Fez, man. Right. It is absolutely inappropriate and disrespectful to talk about how hot somebody else's sister is. No matter how bad you want to give it to her. Right, Kelso? Oh, you're such a dick. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I... <laughs> what is it, boy? Is there someone? Is there something you want to tell us about Eric's sister? I totally did it with her. <laughs> oh, we're fighting. I'm upset. What? Yeah, me too. I'll be upset. I, I mean, she took advantage of me. That's true, though. I'm, I'm violated. <laughs> you idiot, your thumbs are still up. <laughs> Acting's hard. <laughs> Look, I swear to God, you say one more word about my sister, and I'm going to tell Jackie. Ooh. I would tell Jackie anyways, because, dude, why? Oh, I forgot about Jackie. Right, right. You forgot you have this huge bitchy anchor tied around your neck. I mean, it could happen. I don't feel so, bad. I guess the first time it actually really happened was when I was horseback riding. You know what? Maybe you should ask Kelso if you could borrow his van some night. <laughs> his eyes. He's like, what? Cool. <laughs> it's like, uh... Well... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. You sure? <laughs> you sure? All right, where are you at, Hyde? Where, 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 where are, are you? <laughs> True. Yeah. So I'd like to see other people. Wow. I can't believe no. he said it like that. What, what I mean to say is that you and I should see other people. No. Okay. What if just I see other people? Oh, boy. Now mom's got to bring us home. Don't say Kelso. Hello? Hello, mother. Oh, Last night? She's so messing with Eric, isn't she? I will definitely be here tonight. <laughs> uh, tonight doesn't feel right. right. <clears throat> Not the way last night felt. No. Oh, poor Eric. <laughs> oh, that was so great. <laughs> You love Jackie, and she says that we can't see other people. You watch your ass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our episode for today. Season number two, episode number two, Red's Last Day. Pretty great episode. You guys seen my reaction. I was definitely laughing from beginning to end. Although I am a little bit confused, okay? All of last season... Red has mentioned that the plant is going under, it's gone under. He needed a job. What happened? He hit up Bob. Well, Bob actually offered him a, him a job, but he took it. Red never mentioned anything about he had his, like, his last day is coming up. So, I kind of was left with the impression that he already lost his job. It was already over with, uh, speaking about at the plant. So, to me, this felt kind of like an episode that probably should have been last season, to be honest with you guys. Because I didn't have any idea or I didn't think that he would still be working at the plant, especially going into season two. So, that kind of confused me a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But other than that, I thought it was a really good, fun episode. Uh, we got to see Red's last day at the plant, of course. Uh, and it was kind of cool. We kind of got a little bit of a serious moment between him and Kitty at the bar where, you know, Kitty was just letting Red know, like, don't worry. Don't be stressed out. We'll get through this. We could get through anything together. We got this. We got each other. And I, I really like to see that, you know, um... I really thought that was awesome to see Kitty be there for Red 
uh, in that kind of way because Red isn't the person who strikes me as if there's a problem, I'm going to talk about it. Red Red strikes me as this guy who will keep shit inside. You know what I'm saying? And it was awesome to see that Kitty saw that. Um, it was awesome to see that she was able to read it and just go there and talk to him and just let him know, like, it's all right. It's going to be all good. We'll, we'll figure it out. But that's why I say it was confusing to me just a little bit because I thought we did figure it out. I, I, I thought we already handled this situation by getting a job at Bob's. Now, to be fair, I know it's only part-time, but it's still a job. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was kind of a little bit confused by that just a little bit. But if there's any reason for that, uh, if there's any clarification that you guys need to tell me in the comment section as far as why this episode was put here right now, let me know about it. Or uh, if if Red's mentioned uh, in the first season that he has like a week or two left, uh, let me know about that because literally this was like a complete surprise to me. As we started this episode, I even mentioned to you guys, I was like, Red's last day, are we talking about at Bob's? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even remember him saying, hey, Bob, it's over, you know? So from my understanding, he's still working there. You know, but I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me down below because uh, that kind of did throw me off just a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Kelso. Yes, Lori was the one who kind of put herself on Kelso. But Kelso, you got to be bigger than that. You got to, like, shut that shit down. You know, I was extremely, extremely disappointed with Kelso at this episode because he had a second chance. When Lori, when Jackie found out that Kelso and Lori kissed, which I'm pretty sure she did find out about that, she was not happy. She gave you a second chance, and you blew it. And the fact that he didn't tell her that at the end, it made me that much more upset because I'm like, come on, Kelso, you can't keep doing this. Not to Jackie. You know, remember, all last season, he kept, you know, teasing it, mentioning it to us. Oh, I'm going to break up with her. Oh, this week is the week. I'm breaking up with her. She didn't, she, she was not a bad girl. Like, like Jack, from what we've seen so far from Jackie, she hasn't done anything to deserve what Kelso has done to her, in my opinion. Yeah, she could be a bit controlling at times. She could, you know, be a little bit, uh, I don't want to say anything too mean or anything like that, because I don't think Jackie's mean. I guess controlling a little bit, maybe, you know, but like, it, it's not to a point where Kelso has to sit there and cheat on Jackie, you know, and, and that definitely hurt me to see because I don't think she deserves to go through that. And Kelso doesn't strike me as the person to go ahead and tell Jackie like, yo, I messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like if there's a situation where Jackie finds out about Lori and, and Kelso, it's going to be that she's going to find out about it. It's not going to be Kelso telling Jackie like, look, I fucked up. You know what I mean? Which I would prefer to see him do that. But he doesn't strike me as that guy who would do it. So if if we see that happen later on down the road that he does say, yo, it was totally on me, then I would definitely be like, way to go. I'm proud of you for that. But he doesn't strike me as that guy that would say something. And I just I just feel so extremely bad for Jackie. I really, really do. Um, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll see what they decide to do with that moving forward. And also Kelso and Lori, we'll see what's going to happen there. Uh, I think Lori kind of made it clear at the end of this episode that she's kind of just using Kelso for whenever she wants him. That's kind of what she worded. That's how she worded it. So I don't think Lori like wants to be with him, but still at the end of the day, you can't do that to Jackie. You can't do that to your girl. You know, um, we had, uh, of course, Eric Donna. Uh, it was really, really funny uh, how Donna came over at the end of the episode and was like, hey, so where were you? Uh, so last night, yeah, I was totally feeling it. And, and you could just see the hurt in Eric's eyes that he was not home. You know, I thought it was so funny. It was so hilarious. Uh, really, really great job of the way they wrote that scene right there. I thought it was really, really good. Um, what else? What else? And yeah, that's just about it, to be honest with you guys. I thought it was a really good, fun episode. And I can't wait to continue watching to see how everything's going to continue to unfold. Uh, thank you guys once again for joining me. If you are a fan, feel free to leave that like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you on the next episode of That 70s Show. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.